Hello, my name is Anna Sorensen. Welcome to my channel, Little Wyoming Nook. I'm going to take you around and let you look at what's going on in the garden today. I probably won't show you the lower half, but I'll show you this part. Um, here's a salvia, a bumblebee salvia. And Willow and I planted right there a um, lemon balm last night and a mint. And all the rest of this stuff here is raspberries. They're looking really good. See, they're starting to get their um, fruit set on them. And I got bees that are hanging out over here. I got one right there, and I had another one sitting around here somewhere. They're pretty happy. They're just hanging out, pollinating all the flowers. This is a big bee, too. Okay, so now I just took all the suckers off of the tree and I have a potato, a potato, and another potato, and I have a black eyed Susan. Around here I have a wild mint that my mom got me. There's another potato. There's a lavender and a blueberry. And then coming around here, I'm oh, sorry, kids are squabbling. Anyways, I have two boxes here. I need to get a third. The corn and the potatoes I know are not supposed to be together. And I planted the corn really close because I was going to replant it somewhere else. And then it hailed really bad. So some of my stuff looks a little bit sad. It's all chopped up and it's not doing as good. It's coming back, but it's in a harder time. I moved that, um, that corn from over here. So this corn's already looking good, but I don't have another place to move this corn at the moment. And so there's the bare spot that I had all the corn from, and I put it all over here. This was supposed to be all peppers, and I didn't have anything come up except for like five plants just the other day. So I planted them in the back, right in between each of the plants. And then in the front, I replanted some habanero plants. So hopefully they come up, but anyways, my corn is looking pretty shabby. I, I replanted it like two or three days ago and it was about a week ago that it got hailed on. So it sort of is going through shock of hail and getting replanted, but it's doing okay. It, it's just taking a little bit, but see the difference between that ha that corn and that corn, because it got hailed on. Oh, and the other thing is these potatoes I got from the store, they're called Red Northland, po Red Northland potatoes. And that one is a, uh, russet that was from in my house that started to sprout so I saved it and over here see the pink line I have three different types of tomatoes I have um, Roma and then I had uh, cherry tomatoes and then a tomato that's like a it's called a delicious but it's like a regular tomato and I did Roma cherry delicious Roma cherry delicious over there and I think it, that was it so I should have had um, a set of three places but I planted several seeds in each area and then I took in between in the back like where are the little pile of um, rocks are oh, sorry I'm shaking I'm using the phone anyways there is parsley and it's finally kind of coming up and in between all of these tomatoes I planted carrots because I knew that the carrots would do good with the tomatoes and after I watched the video with MI Gardener he was saying that it's really good to make use of all your space so I thought hey why don't I do that so anyways I got tomatoes here and 
Um, oh, well, there's a carrot right there. Do you see the little, the little fluffy leaf? So I see another parsley right there. But there should have been a basil right in between here. So I'll keep looking. I think it's like right, it's supposed to be right in here, but I'll keep looking for it. So anyways, it goes Roma Cherry Delicious, and then it's carrots in between, and then it's parsley, basil, parsley, basil, parsley, basil, parsley, basil, parsley, basil, parsley, maybe basil on the end. So anyways, those are coming up. Oh yeah, I gotta show you the Roma tomatoes coming up over here. Here's, there's Roma's. There's two of them there. And then, okay, my, and let's see. I have a couple places where things didn't come up, so it's a good thing I planted a couple things in here. Here's another, what's probably a Roma. And then, I got some carrots here. See, carrots. And, let's see. Let's go on this way. I know there was another one in between here, but I don't see it at the moment. Here's some more carrots. See those? And that. I believe is a basil right there. So, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, I had another spot where there was tomatoes. These are tomatoes right there. There's two of them. So that would be the delicious. And I just weeded this, but you know, weeds come up pretty quick. They don't bother me too much because I can turn them into mulch, but they do kind of come up fast. And I think the other one was right in here somewhere. I just don't see it right now, and I don't have a free hand to show you. Okay. Oh. And here is the fence that Curtis and I made before we went to Oregon. Looks pretty snazzy, huh? And we got some in-laws here with some dogs. So I have my stuff I got from mom blocked off. Will and I covered up, I mean, we planted a few more things last night. I have two calla lilies, a mint, rosemary, oregano, goat's beard, and one other thing I don't know what it's called. And it's, um, it's a flower, I believe. I have, this rock area that it's not for gardening but I have two wild sunflowers that came up there and another one there and then here's all my peas and stuff they got hailed on too so they're laying down and I need to pick them up I was going to go and retransplant them before we went to Oregon but I was running out of time and I had so much to do so I Decided to leave them because I didn't want them to go into shock and then them all just die on me. So I ended up just leaving them. And now they're really leggy, so I'll have to just leave them here. But I pulled up like half or a little over half of all my radishes. And I thought, I left all the little ones and I thought they'd get bigger when we were gone. And they did, but it got really hot too, so they all decided to bolt. So I'm going to go ahead and get seeds because um, they're all heirloom and my mom suggested that that's what I do anyways and so this just kind of decided it for me. So my peas are definitely producing See, and I've pulled off quite a few of them already. I don't really let them get super big. I, I like them when they're nice and young and tender. Really I'm just eating pods because the the peas are so small on them. I have uh, broccoli inside there and there was supposed to be chives but you know they got kind of overtaken by the the radishes so that's okay I'm not gonna worry too much about it and I know there's a few weeds in here but 
it will come out eventually. But look at all these little seed pods. They look almost like little tiny cocoons. They're pretty cool looking. So they're getting bigger. I opened up one another day. All the seeds are white, so they're not ready yet. But they'll be soon. There's another little clump of really pretty peas. And another one right here. I can get it. So this tree, all the lambs decided to die on it during the winter, I guess. But the tree itself is still alive. And I trimmed it all the way down to where it was alive. But the only part that's growing right now is that. So at least it's still alive. But I think I'll have to cut the top off again down to there. I'm just going to leave it for now. So everything else here looks pretty great. I think. And I'm going to make some more boxes. I need to kind of get to the again. Last night I took out all the thistles and the grass that were growing along there. And I have myself a little compost bucket. I've been putting all the kitchen scraps and waste in there so that it's getting um, turned into compost for the garden. And not just needing to bury it all the time. Which was fine, but I'm kind of at the point right now I can't bury things right now. So, oh yeah, and I forgot, I went and I planted more peas in behind here so the peas will be shaded by the corn and they can climb up the corn or whatever. So they'll be back there. I have not decided what I'm going to put in there behind the peas, I mean the potatoes, but it'll have to be something that isn't going to need to be dug up because the potatoes are being dug. So, I don't know, maybe lettuce. And um, I think everything is growing really good. And I'm not going to show you down below right now because they got dogs and different things in there right now, so it's pretty messy. But I have a planter next to the, the front that has all strawberries and onions in it. I put the onions in there so the bugs would stay away from it. And... It is growing really good. The hail kind of beat the onions down a lot, but they'll come back pretty good. I pulled off some tops here a while back, and I put them in some potatoes, and that was really good. But then it hailed on top of them, so it was kind of sad. <coughs> they'll grow back, and the um, the potato, or I mean the the strawberries look really good. They look like they made it through the hail really well. Anyways, there's all my stuff planted, and I'll show you some of the other things here in a few days. I'll say goodbye to the bee. He's really cool. Big old huge guy. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.